saved you. Thomas is a really useful tank engine. Whenever anyone is in trouble, Thomas is always there to help. And because Thomas helps, deliveries are made on time, without confusion and delay. One day, Thomas was at Maithwaite Station. Sir Topham had arrived on board Percy. Thomas, I need you to collect a very important passenger. He's a firefighter and a hero. He rescued Lady Hat's cat from a tree. A hero? Now we're going to give him a medal. Thomas puffed away to collect the firefighter. He was very excited. He was going to meet a real hero. On the way, Thomas saw lots of children at the bus stop. They were excited too. We're going to see the firefighter. Bertie, the bus is taking us to the medal ceremony. Then, up ahead, Thomas saw a water tower through the trees. The water tower was starting to wobble. Thomas saw a duck was right next to it. Oh no! The water tower is going to fall on Duck. I must rescue him. Thomas blew his whistle loudly. Quick, Duck! Move! Now! Duck puffed quickly forward. The water tower crashed to the ground. I rescued you. No, you didn't. Rocky was putting the water tower on my flatbed. And now it's smashed. Thomas hadn't seen Rocky. Rocky had been hidden behind the trees. I'm sorry, but I don't have time to help you. I have to collect the firefighter. He's a hero. Later, Thomas saw a tree that had fallen onto the tracks. That looks dangerous, thought Thomas. I must go and tell the signal. Thomas backed up to a signal box. There's a tree on the line. The engines must take another track. The signalman changed the points. Just then, Harvey raced towards the junction. He changed tracks and puffed down the other line. Harvey was surprised. Thomas was very pleased with himself. I rescued Harvey, Thomas thought proudly. Now I'm a hero. Thomas chuffed on to collect the firefighter. He saw Donald and Douglas stuck behind the fallen tree. I hope Harvey gets here soon. Aye, we can't go anywhere until he moves this tree. Thomas knew he'd made a mistake. Oh no, I made Harvey take the other track. I'm not a hero at all. We need Harvey. I'm sorry, but I don't have time to find Harvey. I have to collect the firefighter. He's a hero. Then Thomas saw Toby. Smoke and steam billowed from Toby's axles. Toby's broken down on Gordon's express line. Oh no! Here comes Gordon. I have to rescue Toby. So Thomas puffed quickly back to the points. He changed over onto the express line. Thomas buffered up behind Toby and shunted him as fast as he could. Help, 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 help! Don't worry, Toby, said Thomas, and he shunted Toby off the express line and into a siding. Gordon chuffed past. He didn't see Toby. I rescued you. No, you didn't. Gordon was bringing a mechanic to fix me. Thomas knew he'd made another mistake. I haven't rescued anyone. I'm not a hero. And now the firefighter won't get to the medal ceremony on time. Thomas felt terrible. 
Just then, Percy puffed up. Percy, will you go and pick up the firefighter for me? Percy was very pleased. You'll have to hurry. The medal ceremony starts soon. So Percy raced away. Thomas knew what he had to do now. Thomas collected the mechanic from Gordon and took him to fix Toby. Then Thomas found Harvey. He took Harvey to move the fallen tree. Harvey soon cleared the track. Thomas puffed sadly back to Tidmouth. He saw Bertie the bus. The children were standing around him. What's the matter? I'm stuck in the mud. Now I can't take the children to the medal ceremony. Shall I take the children for you? Yes, please. So all the children climbed on board Annie and Clarabelle. And Thomas puffed away. Thomas arrived at the medal ceremony just in time. Sir Topham Hat and Lady Hat gave the firefighter his medal. The children were very happy. You're a hero. And you're our hero, Thomas. Thomas the hero beamed from buffer to buffer. <laughs>